he, who wishes to fight, must first count the cost. Know yourself, and you will win all battles. The whole secret, lies in confusing the enemy, so that he cannot fathom our real intent. Appear weak, when you are strong, and strong, when you are weak. If you wait by the river long enough, the bodies of your enemies will float by. If the mind is willing, the flesh could go on, and on, without many things. Let your plans be dark and impenetrable as night, and when you move, fall like a thunderbolt. Rouse him, and learn the principle of his activity or inactivity. Force him to reveal himself, so as to find out his vulnerable spots. Build your opponent, a golden bridge, to retreat across. In the midst of chaos, there is also opportunity. If you know the enemy, and know yourself, you need not fear the result of a hundred battles. Move swift as the wind, and closely formed as the wood. Attack like the fire, and be still as the mountain. When the enemy is relaxed, make them toil, when full, starve them, when settled, make them move. To win 100 victories, in 100 battles, is not the acme of skill. To subdue the enemy, without fighting, is the acme of skill. Treat your men, as you would your own beloved sons, and they will follow you, into the deepest valley. To know your enemy, you must become your enemy. There is no instance of a nation, benefiting from prolonged warfare. Victorious warriors win first, and then go to war. While defeated warriors, Go to war first, and then seek to win. Even the finest sword, plunged into salt water, will eventually rust. Opportunities multiply, as they are seized. 